determinant, a very important operation performed on matrices. There are two things to note. The first thing is it can be performed only on a square matrix. And the second thing, it's a number, not a matrix. Now let's learn how do we perform this operation. Let's start with the 2 by 2 matrix. If I have a square matrix of order 2 with the elements A, B, C, D, the determinant of A represented as A with a modulus, this is AD minus BC. Let's try this with an example. Here we have a matrix A with elements 3, 2, 1, 6. The debt of A will be 3 into 6 minus 2 into 1, which is 18 minus 2, which becomes 16. Observe that this is a number, not a matrix. And this was pretty simple for a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, before we learn for 3 by 3 matrix, let me introduce two new terms. The first term is minor. It is the determinant formed by deleting the corresponding row and column of an element. Here we have a matrix A, which is of order 3, and here are the elements. Suppose I want to find a minor for this particular element. This element in second row, first column. So I can write M to 1. For this, we eliminate its row and the column. The leftover elements determinant is a minor. Therefore, this becomes debt of A12, A13, A32, and A33. Let's try with an example. Here we have a matrix P with these elements. Suppose I want to find minor for this. The position of this is the second row, second column. So I need to find M22. We can do this by eliminating the column and the row. And we take the debt of the remaining elements, which is 10 minus 9, and this is 1. The second concept, what we need to learn is an extension for the minor. It's called cofactor, which is basically assigning a sign to the minor. Now the question is, what will be the sign, whether it's plus or minus? This is defined by cofactor for a specific position, maybe some ij is minus 1 to the power of i plus j into the minor of ij. For the minor, we are taking either positive or negative. It becomes positive if the sum of row position and column position is even, and if at all it becomes odd, this becomes negative. To understand this, let's take the previous example. In the matrix A, if I want to find the cofactor of A21, I could write the cofactor of the position 21 is minus 1 power 2 plus 1 and minor of 21. So 2 plus 1 is 3, odd number. Therefore, this is negative of M21. For practice, just try to find out the cofactor for this. We can do it this way. The cofactor of 2, 2 here is minus 1 power 2 plus 2 into minor of 2, 2. 2 plus 2 is even, therefore this becomes positive. This is m22 and m22 we already found out, which is 1. Now using this cofactor concept, let's define determinant. For a matrix of order n, we can find the determinant as, we can pick up any row or column. Let's say we chose one column. Take each element, multiply that with its cofactor, and take the summation. If I put it in statements, we can write as the debt of A is basically a summation of an element, some ij, multiplied with its cofactor ij. Now, this element what we are choosing could be from any row or a column. So I can say this as, and C is its corresponding cofactor. It might look somewhat complicated. So let me give you an example to make it simpler. Here we have a matrix of order 3. Now to find the determinant of this, I can pick up any row. So let me take the first row. So the debt of A will be for each element, we multiply it with its cofactor and then we take the summation. So we can write this as A11 multiplied with its cofactor C11 plus a12, c12, then a13, c13. It's not necessary that we have to pick up only the first row. We can take any of the rows or even columns. So if I take this particular column, you can find the determinant as a12, c12, and so on. Let's try to solve an example. 
here we have a matrix p with elements 2 3 4 1 0 0 5 1 6 let's find the determinant for this that of p will be i have a choice to pick up any row so let me take the first row itself so the formula will be this one we already know that cofactor is basically a minor with a sign and the sign convention is if the position i plus j if it becomes even we take positive if it becomes odd we take negative so you see here 1 plus 1 is 2 even therefore this will be positive 1 plus 2 is 3 that's an odd number so negative 3 plus 1 is 4 positive so if i rewrite this equation in terms of minors this will be here the minus sign for the minor is because of the cofactor which turns it to negative now let's substitute the values a11 is the first element 2 multiplied by its minor for which we ignore this and this we need to take a debt of this which is 0 into 6 minus 0 into 1 and so on on simplification this becomes it gives the answer negative 14 if you carefully observe this was slightly lengthier we could have done this faster if at all if we have picked up this particular row the reason being here we have two elements zero therefore the product with its cofactor we need not find so we find the cofactors only for non-zero elements let's try to do with this row and let's see if this matches with this particular answer so for the second row this will be the formula but this is zero and even this is zero so we just need to find this one which is negative of a21 and minor 21 and we are having negative here because 2 plus 1 is 3 which is odd therefore for minor we will be taking negative and on simplification it gives the answer negative 14 so while performing determinant always pick up the row or the column which has more number of zeros so that simplification is easier